Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to show you how I unlocked gathering scripts, farm them, and how you can make a heck ton of gel with them. So with that being said, let's get into it. To unlock scripts in the first place, you do have to finish the level 50 quest, Inscrutable Taste. You can find this in Ishgard in the foundation. After you unlock basic scripts, then you can come over here to the rods at Han. Of Polona will give you a quest once you finish this area's quest line to unlock this area's collectibles. From there, you can start getting white scripts and then go into purple scripts. So how do you farm them? And how do you farm them if you're not yet level 90? Personally, I recommend skipping out on love quests to level your gatherers. Do solely the collectibles all the way till 90. You will get a heck ton of XP and you'll be able to buy a whole lot of things that are essential for you to gear up once that you're 90. I recommend once you're waiting for collectibles to spawn, you should gather just normal node items with a revised gathering manual, a FC buff if you have one for gathering XP, and of course a food buff. If you do it this way, you'll be capped multiple times over once you hit level 90 with your white scripts. For leveling, I will make a separate video for all the gatherers from 80 to 90, but this is a good thing to keep in mind once you're farming whites and if you're under the level 90. Now, of course, my gear was literally just the AC pentamelded gear all the way from 80 to 90, and from there I can explain some rotations. So this here is a level 83 node, which is perfect for white scripts, so all I did while I was leveling was hitting the scrutiny meticulous prospector all the way until I hit 1000 collectability. Now since these nodes are so far apart in time, I usually have max GP so I can always use as much scrutiny as I'd like to. So from here, scrutiny once more and now I have 1000 collectability. Another way you could do this so you can hit the node one more time, instead I would have used scour to hit the 1000 collectability without having to use scrutiny and then I would use solid reason so I could get another hit at the node to get the additional collectible. Of course, always try to aim for 1000 collectability because that's where you will get the most XP and the most scripts. Now for purple scripts, this is just not a time node, one of the always up purple nodes out in Labyrinthos. So my gather rotation doesn't differ very much. I use scrutiny, then meticulous prospector, scrutiny again, meticulous, and since I have collector standard, I will go again with the meticulous. And from there, I can use solid reason and then start collecting. So how do you manage all these time nodes at once to get the most out of your time? Well, I really recommend using TeamCraft, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So what you can do is go to TeamCraft and go to the Collectibles tab. From there, you can select any job for the collectibles you would like to track. Here, I selected Miner, and I can see all the collectibles from 80 to 90 right here, purple and white. It also shows the node locations, which ones are up, when they are up. You can also create alarms and lists if you would like to combine a list of mining nodes and botanist nodes. So this is really good if you want to keep track and make the most out of your time. So how do we actually spend all these scripts so we can get the most out of them? Well, usually, I would recommend the currency spending guide. You would put in the script you would like to check how much you have in your server. But for now, it only works for white gatherer scripts until they update it. This will show us immediately how much we can make per 2000 gathering scripts, with the top amount being the absolute most. So from 2000 gatherer scripts, we can buy 8 gatherer's grass material nines, and we can make a total of 500 thousand gil and 64 has been sold the last week but what can we do for purple scripts so i made a list of all the items you can buy with purple scripts you can go here on the pricing mode fill in your market board prices and you can see how much you'll get per each item now, of course, since you can buy four for a max of 2,000 purple scripts, you're going to have to multiply, or you can uncheck everything that you don't want or you won't buy. Fill prices in again, and it will show you how much you will receive. So 940,000 gil for just 
for gatherers, guardons, materia tents. Another thing to look out for is the purple script gatherer gear. It's great if you don't have any crafters to get the crafted gear, if it's too expensive or you don't feel like melding a whole load of materia, this is a wonderful option. The next thing I do advise you about is that I bought a tome of geological folklore, which is for the time nodes in the Endwalker areas, but I noticed that even though I have unlocked the ability to mine this stone hard water, it's not actually used in any recipes that I have yet, so I would wait until later and focus on buying materia with your white scripts so you can meld out and have a good set to gather even more. So that's how you can unlock gathering scripts, farm them, and make an absolute fortune with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos. Hopefully it'll help people who are new or people who are a little bit confused because it is a lot to get through to just start getting scripts. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.